When an anime character can give you goosebumps from their sheer power, you know they're special. When they might be able to dominate within other anime universes, then you know they aren't to be played with. Well, the character Alucard from the anime Helsing is one of these special candidates. Guys, it's your boy Jay Chain. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm a bit masty today. I've got the flu. You know what I'm trying to say? I just had a 10 hour shift at work. And I still thought to myself, do you know what? I need to get my grind in and make a video for you guys. Yeah. So purely off that alone, show me some love and hit that subscribe button. All right. So we're going to be locking into this topic. And that is the topic of Alucard, yeah, radiating that black air force energy from hell. And why his character is so crazy. Okay. So we got the character Alucard. All right. Within the Helsing Ultimate Timeline, right? Alucard is the strongest vampire that's ever stepped foot in creation you know what i'm saying so no other vampire is on his level across all boards you know what i'm trying to say do you know alucard spelt backwards right it's actually dracula so you could gain some sort of information based on that alone because like i said dracula's supposed to be one of the strongest vampires ever you know what i'm trying to say he's supposed to be the count count dracula the most powerful vampire so so that alone shows us the significance of why he's got that name and the type of character that he may be and the type of shared power that he may hold. The character Alucard fights with ferocity and often extreme cruelty, rarely shooting to kill until his target has been completely disabled and humiliated. Essentially, he's immortal and invulnerable. Alucard is very egotistical. He freely talks and belittles his opponents, right? Often allowing them to inflict damage onto him. So that just shows you why he's just so crazy. Like, you're moving like Zaraki Kebachi from Bleach. You want them to inflict some damage on you. You want to feel some pain. You want to show them that, listen, whatever you're going to do to me won't have no effect on me in the long run. That alone is Black Air Force energy, guys. You can't tell me it isn't. <laughs> like, one of his favorite ways of, like, fighting his opponent is allowing himself to be ripped to shreds, blown to shreds, and then suddenly putting himself back together and just devouring his opponent. You know, that's the type of character Alucard is. He likes to toy with his food. He likes to play with his food because he knows that no one's really on his level i would say his biggest weakness within the anime series is the fact that he doesn't take anyone serious and that he actually belittles everyone that he comes across you know in terms of his opponents so that just shows you or indicates to you why it might be a weakness because someone can catch him by a surprise and if he obviously underestimates them initially then he might just die based on a blow or two but apart from that i feel like he has no real weakness let's talk about some of his powers so we've got Alucard, he's got superhuman strength, he's got superhuman speed and reflexes, he's got enhanced endurance, right? He's also got um, enhanced durability, combat experience, obviously he's been fighting his opponents for years on end, you know what I'm trying to say, he's near enough immortal, so his combat experience is so vast that it's inherently impossible to surprise him, I would say. So you could say his weakness before could be void. All right, he's got obviously super regeneration. Alucard has the ability to perfectly and quickly recover from any physical injury. You know, he's got crazy sensory um, abilities and he's also got dark composition. Though he generally doesn't use it, yeah, he's known in his human um, humanoid form. Alucard has dark composition where he blatantly goes into rage mode and he turns into something that wouldn't be classed as human. But that literally releases all his restrictions to his power because like I said, Alucard is so strong, he actually has restrictions on himself that's been placed within himself. And only when they are released that he can release his full power. Guys, if that's not Black Air Force energy, what is? You know, someone that's got to give themselves a handicap and put a restriction on himself. It shows you enough and it tells you enough. This guy, or this being, I would say, yeah, he really, really is the definition of power. He also has another ability called soul absorption. By draining a person of their blood, Alucard gains dominance over their souls and their very forms. He also takes on whatever knowledge they possess, which indicates a crazy trump card. Because the more knowledge he gains and the forms he gains, the more powerful he inherently becomes when you think about it. In addition, Alucard is definitely different. Yeah, this is what gives him that Black Air Force radiance, right? He's a day walker, so he doesn't give a fuck about not being able to walk outside he can literally walk outside in the sun unlike other vampires right so like i said other vampires operate in the dark because of this obviously presumed weakness to light alucard however seems to have no problem with sunlight 
only complain that being up during the day is exhausting so that's about it he might need some hydration he might need like a refill of blood but apart from that that shows you that he's obviously different compared to the normal fictional vampires that we may have come across from other stories that he was growing up so more abilities he has is weather control hypnosis gravity defense telekinesis the list goes on alucard is literally a force of nature right and his power kind of exceeds even those that are considered strong within other animes you know what i'm just saying because he literally has a bit of everything like i said once again that immortality plays a big role in this meaning he can't die so even when he looks like he's losing he's about to lose he just won't die you know what i'm saying so he can keep obviously leveling up himself yeah and obviously gaining knowledge power as time goes on he also uses weapons one of his weapons are called the jackal the jackal is a massive pistol made especially for alucard are one of the most powerful handheld weapons in the Helsing series. It has a length of 39 cm, 16 inches, a weight of 16 kg, 35 load, and a black gunmetal construction. And it uses massive 13 mm explosive rounds. It's also impossible for anyone else to use Alucard's weapon. Guys, so as you can see, Alucard's got a loads of things, yeah, under his belt, right? Down to magical powers, down to humanoid stuff, down to getting influenced by i don't know let's say the world is living in and using actual guns you know with explosive rounds to then further advance his character and become so strong he's almost like a god you know what i'm trying to say in terms of he's got so much stuff under his belt and he can't die but in this term because he's from hell we can say he's like the devil so guys what do you feel about alucard do you feel like he's got that black evil energy leave your comments below this video was a bit of a struggle for me like i said i am sick i am tired but we're doing it anyway you know and i will do a part two this is your boy jay and chain i'm looking out